Hi, welcome back to the Pilates Fix. I'm Kristen Matthews. Today we're going to do another workout for the Holiday Fix Challenge and it's going to be focused totally on the abs. So I'm going to take you through the classical series of five and then I'm going to take you through it two more times with different variations. So we'll take breaks in between, rest your neck as you need to because this definitely is going to be a lot of, a lot of ab. You might feel this in your neck. You can always grab a pillow and put it down um, to support your head if you want to keep it down. And otherwise, we're going to get going again. You can just play your own music, whatever you enjoy. So we'll start lying on your back. Bring your knees into your chest. Both your hands will come onto one shin as you curl your head and shoulders up. Stretch the opposite leg out. Pull the abs in. Tailbone is long. Pull that knee in and switch. So you're working that length out of your hip while you keep that pelvis neutral. So that's that nice long plane with your um, pelvis, a nice even plane. You're not tucking. You're not arching. Five more of each. Breathing in. Exhaling out, three more. I don't know how to count, we're gonna do one more time. <laughs> Bend both your knees in, hold here, one hand on each shin. Reach your arms and legs out, stretch long circle and hug. The trick here is you reach out, you stay curled up. I always see people wanting to lower their head and shoulders, but you wanna stay curled up into that chest line. You inhale. Reach out, work that opposition, exhale, hug in, inhale, fill your lungs, exhale, empty, five more, inhale, reach, exhale, circle, hug, four, three, you can always support your neck with your hands if you need to, two, one more, we're going right into scissors again, rest if you need to. Both your legs go up, grab behind one leg, other leg goes down, pull one, two, switch. The goal is to keep those legs long, reaching as high as your leg, high onto your leg as you can. That might mean you grab behind your thigh, that might mean calf, that might mean ankle. Point, point is, keep your legs long, keep your tailbone long, and work a little pulse up. Top leg moves, bottom leg stays really straight, pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse, do two more each leg. Keep breathing through this. One more each leg. Legs up to the sky, hands behind your head. Heels together, toes apart. Legs are as long as you can get them. They go down, you lift right back up. Now if you want, you can keep your head down. You can also support your low back with your hands under your tailbone. So notice my fingertips are coming out from under my butt. You're not going under your back. So this is great just to give your Back a little support if you have any low back weakness, inhale. And if you're tight in your quads and you only feel this in your quads, then you do this with your knees bent. So we have four more. I'm moving us through this variation, these variations. <sighs> Two more, because we're gonna take a little more <sighs> break, breaks as we go along. <sighs> Bend the knees in, we go right into crisscross, known as bicycle, you twist. Keep nice and wide with those arms. So I think elbow towards your knee. <sighs> Breathing, inhale, exhale, curling up a little higher if you can. Tailbones long, armpit to that knee. Two more each side, one more each side. Bend your knees lower down. So you're gonna place your feet down for me for a moment. Rock your head side to side, rock those knees side to side. We're just gonna give the back and the neck and those abs a break. Okay, second round, do some fun variations. So for this one, hands will come behind your head. Support your neck, curling your head and shoulders up. Bring one leg to tabletop, then the other leg. So those knees are directly over your hips. You'll reach one leg out, the other leg is gonna stay over the hip. Bring it in and switch. So just breathe through this. You can do this with your arms down by your hips or reaching towards your hips. You can also hold onto your thighs if you need a little extra support. There's always lots of options. You can also do this with your head down as I mentioned earlier. Trying to keep those ribs down so we don't arch in that back and then keep that knee right over the hip. Easy for me to do because I can actually see myself in the camera. <sighs> just think about that though. I'm gonna do one more time each leg. Inhale, exhale, bend the knees, 
Lucky for you, I need a break. So for the next one, <laughs> one hand on each shin. So double leg stretch. Again, you can always hold behind your head if you need support. Curl your head and shoulders up. Arms and legs reach out. You hold four, three, two, one. Arms go to the side. You hold four, three, two, one. Arms go to the hips. Hold two, three, four. Hug the knees in. Hold two, three. We count down to three now. So you reach, hold two, three. Out, abs in, legs go as low as you can. Three, hug in without your back popping. I'm erring on the side of a little more caution because my back's been a little funky. Hold, two, out, too much sitting, honestly, down to your hips. Two, and hug in, which is why I'm doing this. Now we go back, we hold for one. Arms out, hold one. Arms down, hold one. Hug in, hold one. Now, we just flow through for four and hug in. Stay curled up. And hug in. One more time. Lower that down. Rock your head side to side. So for the scissor variation, it's not super different, but you'll reach your legs up, grab behind your leg wherever you can, keeping your legs straight. Now, from this position, you push your leg into the hands so that you curl up a little bit. So notice I'm coming off the mat slightly, shoulders onto your back, get where you can. Now staying up here, you pull, pull, and switch. So see, I wanted you to just fall back when I switch. Pull, pull, you're trying to stay lifted as you switch. Reach, pull, pull, breathe. I'm wearing socks today because it's chilly in Southern California. In my apartment, it's probably nicer in the sun. One more. Knees in, lower your head. Whew, okay. So a little twist on the, on the lower lift. Again, if you need low back support, hands under your head. Hands, well, sorry, hands under your low back. So curl your head and shoulders up. Legs up to the sky, do a slight little turnout. Tailbone is down. The legs go down like we did before in the classical variation. Hold. Bring your legs slightly to the right. Lift them up to the center. Hold them. You lower down the center. Now go to the left, lift up, center, hold. This is kind of like corkscrew variation if you know classical mat. <sighs> to, to take a twist on that. <sighs> so remember, you can always do this with your head down. You can always support your low back with hands underneath your tailbone. I've got one more each side. <sighs> Last one. Bend your knees. Okay, last variation. Curl your head and shoulders up for last one for this variation. Mix of variations. Curl your head and shoulders up. So for crisscross, you'll twist and hold here. You're gonna hold for eight, seven. Curl up a little higher. Four, three, two. Now go to your other side and hold. Two, get up a little higher. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Twist, hold for four. Curl up higher, three. Curl up higher, two, one. Twist, hold, two. A little higher, three, one. Twist, now you got it, hold for one. And two, twist, hold, one. And two, now you're gonna just twist and hold there. Pulse up for eight, seven, six, five, four. A little higher, a little wider with those elbows. Other side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down, Let's lower your head, lower your feet, rock those knees side to side. That just gives your low back a little release. Your abs get a break, your neck gets a break. Okay, so the last set of variations here. For single leg stretch, knees into your chest. We'll start with the hands behind the head, curl your head and shoulders up. So instead of just doing regular single leg stretch, you can add a bicycle. So you stretch one leg out, reach it out nice and long. This can again be done with those arms reaching long past those hips. If you need a little support, you can also hold on to those thighs. Otherwise they go behind your head. Now reverse it. You sweep down long and low. Now again, this isn't a range that works for your body. You might stay up really high and keep it small. You might be able to go really big and long as long as you keep connected into your back. Three, two, one. Keep it out of your back and into your abs. Okay, so double leg stretch. This is a fun one. We'll do a variation into teaser. So hands start on your shins, curl your head and shoulders up. Tailbone is long. So the arms and legs will reach out just like traditional. 
Circle the arms around. Now, you can either hold on underneath your thighs to get you up, or you're just gonna curl yourself up, reach up for teaser, heels together, toes apart. Try to get those hands reaching to the toes. Round your spine back all the way. Circle your arms, hug the knees in. So you reach out, inhale. Exhale, I'm gonna use my legs and my abs are getting a little tired. You roll up, reach up, gotta listen to our bodies. This time you wanna challenge it more, reach your arms up. So as you round back, this is harder, and reach, hug the knees in. We've got three more of these, inhale. Exhale, round your spine up. Once you get up, you can reach towards those toes. Again, challenge more by lifting up. Tailbones long, reach back, circle and hug. Two more, inhale. Exhale, round up, reach up towards those toes. Remember, you can hold on to those legs if you need to. Reach your arms back if you're doing that. One more time, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna hold up, round up, hold at the top. Just we'll hold here for four. Lift your heart, three, a little longer, two, and then reach your arms back if you want that added challenge. Hug your knees in. Okay, so for the scissor variation, Let's do the first one that we did. The scissor the legs will add a twist. So curl your head and shoulders up, legs reach up. So you do a little twist. We're gonna take out the pulse. You twist with that reach. Scissor the legs and twist. Scissor and twist. Keep breathing through this. Elbows as wide as you can. Tailbones long. Stretch long through those legs. I don't care how big the movement is. Four, three, two, one, bend your knees in. So the next variation, I'm actually gonna start with my hands, make a little diamond under my tailbone. This is a lower lift. Instead of doing lower and lift, we're gonna do some circles. So the legs will come up to the sky. The head's gonna stay down for a moment, little turn up with those legs. So all you're gonna do is just draw a circle, separate the legs, bring them down and around together and up. Inhale, exhale. So the challenge here is as you go lower, Make sure you stay connected into your center. So your outer hips work, your inner thighs. You can curl your head and shoulders up. You'll probably be able to go a little lower. And then, of course, the, the most challenge will bring, be bringing your hands behind your head. So you can choose which option. Finish this, reverse. Elbows are slightly wide, curl up. Tailbone long, abs in. You have two more. One more. Bend your knees lower down. Just rock your head side to side. Crisscross is going to be like the first one we did, the, the um, single leg stretch bicycle. So we're going to do crisscross with the bicycle. So just bicycle those legs. Just like we did in that first one, going as big or as small as you can or need to. Elbows wide. Curl up a little higher. Keep reaching along and in. Now reverse those legs. Whew. I don't think I've ever done the reverse on camera before. I've played with it, but two more. One more. And then lower down. Whew. All right, I'm going to have you put your feet down. We'll do a little bridge just to stretch. Stretch that front of that body. So that was really just your core today, your abs. Arms down by your side. Press your feet even into the mat. Tuck that tailbone. Lift your hips up. We're really just going for a nice stretch from your knees to your hips to your chest. Find that long line. Feel those feet driving, your knees driving over your feet. And just to open up that center, take a deep breath in. Exhale. Feel that stretch. One more deep breath. And exhale. You can start to roll your spine down. Rounding all the way down. Hug your knees into your chest. You can either rock up to a seated position or just roll onto your side. I really like to just end grounding lately with my classes. So... We'll do a breath with your arms today. So reach your arms out to the side, palms face up. Take a deep inhale. You're gonna reach the arms up. 
Open your spine and then exhale, bring your hands down through your center. You want to keep that openness as you continue throughout your day and you are all done with today's workout. Thank you so much. So hopefully you felt those abs working. I certainly did. Those are just some fun variations to do with the classical series. Um, so yay, we finished another day. So I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. Um, look forward to it. Bye.